The incident occurred on a bustling Wednesday morning. Eyewitnesses say a man accidentally bumped into Bianca in the hotel lobby. It was a fleeting moment with the man continuing on his way, seemingly oblivious to the ensuing drama. This man, one half of a pair of twins who are big names in the LA restaurant scene, then sat outside at a table with friends. It was at this juncture that Kanye West made his approach. The rapper confronted the man and according to witnesses, punched him in the face. Yet in a twist of fate, he ended up hitting the wrong man. The man he punched was not the one who bumped into Bianca, but his twin brother who was sitting with him. These twins, Mark and Johnny Houston, are proprietors of numerous LA restaurants, including celebrity hotspots like No Vacancy, Davy Wayne's, Black Rabbit Rose, and Breakroom 86. They are regulars at the Chateau Marmont Hotel, where the encounter took place. After the altercation, sources say Kanye West left the scene. The police arrived later and now list Kanye as a suspect in a battery report. They want to speak with him about the incident. Law enforcement sources confirmed that the brother Kanye punched, who was not the one who bumped into Bianca, was hit twice. The police are still investigating the incident. They have yet to find evidence supporting Kanye's account that Bianca was manhandled and spun around by the man. The investigation, once concluded, will be forwarded to the city attorney for review. It remains unclear what, if any, legal repercussions there will be. A representative for Kanye insists that Bianca was sexually assaulted, claiming that one of the brothers grabbed her, spun her around, and blew kisses at her. They also claim a staff member checked on her afterward. The representative stated, this was a physical sexual assault and any attempt to undermine the seriousness of what happened is repellent and vile. The Houston brothers have yet to respond as of yet. Sidebar. Did you know the hotel held a luncheon honoring Marina Abramovich, who's best known for her spirit cooking dinners and art? Please note Glenn Maxwell, aka Epstein's mule, was in attendance. Or the fact that the famed actress Suzanne Sarandon was robbed while sleeping in her room when she lived there, or that Jay-Z and Bay threw a secret Oscars after-party in the Chateau's garage with an exclusive only 200 guest list, though the hotel was being sued for discrimination. At that time, the Get Out star, Daniel Kalia, was denied entrance along with some of Jay's closest friends. What kind of party was this? Was it a Diddy Bop party? Hmm, inquiring queens want to know. Let us know if you'd like to know more about the scandals at Chateau Marmont. Moving on. So that's the story. A brief encounter in a hotel lobby, a mistaken identity, and an alleged assault. Now, all we can do is wait for the investigation to conclude and see where the chips fall in this high-profile incident. Let us know your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe.